Suppose we wish to calculate end rotations in the beam shown here. Under the applied load, the beam is going to deform like this. There is a clockwise rotation at A and a counterclockwise rotation at B. Let's refer to these as theta A and theta B, respectively. Due to the symmetrical nature of the beam, theta A equals theta B. Therefore, we need to compute only one of them. Let's compute theta A using the virtual work method. So we can write where mx is the beam's bending moment equation due to the applied load, and m star x is bending moment equation due to a virtual unit moment placed at A in the assumed direction of joint rotation. mx can be easily determined as shown here. To determine m star x, we place a virtual unit moment at A in the clockwise direction, like this. Then, we can come up with the beam's bending moment equation, like this. So, theta A can be calculated by integrating mx times m star x, like this. Therefore, the beam's end rotations are 